Welcome back, Attack. I'm Skyline Shore, and today we're going to do a first impression review here of Windward, which is supposed to be a sandbox sailing game. I'm pretty excited about it, uh, so I'm a little bit optimistic, I guess you could say. There is single player, and there's also direct connect and internet options, so that it seems like there is going to be some multiplayer components to it. Let's go see what we got for options here. Pretty simplistic. Let's enlarge the UI so that I can, uh, you know, UI was fine before. Anyways, okay. Nothing much here, just except. Uh, graphics are going to be on high. Is there a high year? There is also an ultra, but it has me on high, so I'm just gonna accept it. I'll just, we'll go with that. And we'll play the single player. Single player, player name, and we start a world campaign. Oh, this would be world, whatever. Player name, I guess Skylent is fine here. New player, allow friends to join. Um, sure, why not? And we will create. Create the world. So what does this mean? Does it, is this a dynamic world? Does it, is it automatically spawn? Allow player ships. You can choose to allow other players to bring in their own saved ships. Um, no. Start from scratch. I want, I want to, or is it going to force me to? I think it's going to force me to. Challenge. So there's higher challenges. Okay, combat damage. Huh. Okay, I'm just going to keep everything at 100%. Now, permanent war. If enabled, all factions will always be at war. I'm just going to have that off. I'm just going to deal with the default, but uh, what's limited item stats? When enabled stats granted by high-level items, worn in low-level regions will be scaled down to ensure a reasonable challenge. Um, that's interesting. This kind of reminds me of Guild Wars 2, but this is a sandbox game, and generally we don't see that. So anyways, I think we're just going to go with the usual stuff. It looks like I can't change, allow player ships, but uh, we're just going to hit accept. Okay, generated world. Whoa, what is this? So this is what uh, our generated world looks like, basically. Um, here's a seed. Can I go random? So we can just change uh, the seed the way everything looks. I have no idea what this means. This is ambiguous to a new player. I have no idea what this means. Okay, and what is this? Oh, whatever. Choose a faction. Um, do I play that? Do I do that now? I can edit this. Oh, I can even draw in my own world? Interesting. I'm just gonna go random. Where's it? Can we hit play? Oh, wow. This is weird. Draw, draw the world map, then choose next one done. <laughs> I'm just gonna go random. Hit next. Place factions. Um, I guess the faction should be in the corner? I don't know. It looks fine. We're done. Right? Place factions back. Ah, oh, ran random, random. I want to play. I want to play. Let's play. I'm ready. Okay, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a uh, trouble here. It seems. Maybe I just hit X. It says choose where I want to the. Uh, Nations to spawn. They're already in spots. I'm, I'm fine with this. Can I put them in, like, the center? Oh, I can put them in the center. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. I want to play! <laughs> Let me play. Bleh. Put them all in the middle. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's play. Why won't it let me play? Stop being awkward. Let's go. <sighs> Choose a starting faction by clicking a colored region. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit weird. Whatever. Yeah, well, there's the consulate, the valiant, the exchange, and the... Okay, okay. Let's go valiant. Felling assignments tend to be somewhat violent nature. Sounds good to me. Anyway, sorry for that awkwardness, guys. I feel like the start of the game could be a little bit more intuitive. I wish it kind of explained how that map translates. And I kind of wish there was a little bit more clear, or maybe like even a video that played. Uh, to show off the different factions and what they really do. Hold the space bar or right mouse button to drop anchor. And stop faster. Okay. Ooh, this game looks really gorgeous. This is a lot prettier than I thought it'd be. The videos really don't do it justice. Very vibrant, yes. But also, it's running very nice. Enter the town by clicking the town's icon. The bigger the town, the more it can offer. So, is this going to open a menu? This is actually probably going to be rem reminiscent of um, Sunless Sea. Actually, this game very much reminds me of Sunless Sea. So let's click on it, and yes, we open up a menu. A menu here. You can buy and sell items by opening the town's items tab. We got rumors. 
is in need of diamonds. Interesting. You can buy and sell items. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open the regional map by clicking the mini map. Let's do that. Where's the mini map? Here's our map here. Is this somebody in our faction? Is this a NPC? Might just be another boat. Um, I don't know. Let's just sail around. We've got, here's our wind power. And what is this? We have repair. And do we have any cannons? Reckless volley. Overload the cannons with extra black powder and fire powerful broadside volley at chosen target. All right, let's sail around here. Let's let's see what this game has got for us. This is a sandbox game. So yeah, kind of reminiscent of, I guess, what Sunless Sea would be like. But there is multiplayer added into this game. Uh, obviously, we're not going to have this the single player story driven content like we do in Sunless Sea. But I think the multiplayer component to the game would uh, more than make up for it. At least for people who are looking for that kind of adventure. Pretty interesting. Now, where are we? We are going to follow this boat here. Oh, what's that? Whoa, we got some wreckage here. Something that was thrown overboard. And we, oh, we got some resources. We got to figure out what those resources do. And why is this, why is this glowing over here? What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is another red. Fine weather to ye sky. <laughs> okay. Uh, this ship has three stars. I'm assuming that's, it's like level. It's potency, how strong it is. Oh, some uh, loots. Oh, and. Huh. I wonder what that means. Why did why does that guy have a skull and the other guy had um stars? Let's go pick this up. Hold the space bar right button to drop anchor. Nah. Okay, so in the in these waters, it looks like a bunch of my faction is swimming around here. <laughs> swimming around. Um, but let's see, there's probably if I move too far away, I might encounter enemies. Okay, you can rebind any skill. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. What else can we do here? We got talents. Oh, talents. So there's a talent tree kind of system, specialization, we can specialize. I think that's pretty cool. Definitely helps if you have parties, especially the online component. Gives the game some replayability as well. We're getting more loots. There's a town over there. I think I do want to go explore that town, see what they have, maybe? Maybe, we can keep swimming around. We'll keep going through the menus. Players, it should just be me. Yes, sir. What is my inventory, what do we got? Uh, we have captain, we have, um, Different crews. This is a sly crew. Okay. So there might be a brave crew, a sly crew, a reckless crew. Who knows? We have nothing in our inventory, basically. Essentially. Nothing interesting, at least. So we are just sailing around. Um, Am I going to hit, like, a world edge or something? Uh-oh. You are leaving the region. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's not completely open. Well, I mean, it's open world, but there is going to be some loading screens, it seems. Oh, so now that's how I know the map translates. All those different squares are these different regions. So the world map is actually pretty large, maybe, then. This is um, easy. We're in an easy area. Hold spacebar. And you're invulnerable whenever you're transitioning. So you probably can't just camp the transition areas. Yeah. Controlled by the Valiants. Here's another one of our ships. You can hire allies and bribe pirates by clicking on them. I could do that, but I am think I'm poor. He's four stars. So that's pretty cool. Actually, can we actually go on land? What happens if we go on land? Or are we just restrained to our boats? Let's go to this lookout tower. What's up with this? Drop anchor. Or can we not? Nope. We cannot. Let's keep going, guys. I honestly don't know what we could do in this game. We can fast travel. That's interesting. There's the menu there, too. Hmm. Ooh, what is that? Whoa, what's going on over here? Whoa! Hey, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I want to join in on this. Let's have some fun. A valid target required. Whoa! Uh-oh, I think, I think I got into something that I'm not prepared for, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, here we go. Some epic battles here. There's no aiming, so it's it's easier than I think Sid Meier's Pirates. In that game, you have to actually aim. So this you well, I mean you do have to orient your ship, but you just point and click and then orient. I think this is intuitive enough. Let's get the bur with the what the burner fish, burner racer blah, blah blah blah. Oh, it's V. I got a hockey. Yeah, there we go. Boom! Fifteen experience. Oh yeah, let's do it. Get in view of the cannons. 
We got tons of health. Oh, man, we are we are doing business. All right, I'm going to help him out. I'm going to get this loot, though. Nice. Fantastico. I'll, I'll come I'll come help you. Wait, what, what does R do again? It's repair. Um, I'll repair later. We got to do the deeps. There we go. That should be enough, I think. No, we can save him. Yes! We saved him. Mighty fine. I'll help you out. Keep these guys alive. Can I help him? Can I repair him? I should probably repair myself. We discovered Desfer. You know, that was actually kind of exciting. I thought I, I, thought I was going to get jumped. My teammates came to help me. Of course, that's not going to happen in uncharted waters all the time. Especially in areas where my crew, my faction, doesn't control the sea. Alright, so we, we are repairing. I don't think we need to repair too much. I mean, we could do that later. If I, uh, I probably, I don't know. Just because we're doing a video, we got to keep up the pace, so let's keep going. Now, I'm wondering if we can go and explore some coves or something. Equip items by opening the inventory. Oh, yeah. I did open up some. Whoa, what is this? Sail embroidery. Heck, yeah. Oh, I got to dock out of town in order to do that. I like embroideries. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Another ship. Let's do it. Let's do it. I gotta help these guys out. It's freaking pirates. You know, to anybody who has not seen the modern marvels on the pirate technology, it's really good. Absolutely recommended. Pirates are actually really smart, really sophisticated. They stole a lot of uh, technology from a lot of different nations, and they kind of put it all together and made their own uh, versions. Like their boat, pirate boats, for instance, were very, very fast. Awesome. Any loots? There it is. All right, so maybe we maybe we should stop and, and repair. I wonder if we repair faster. There we go, starting repairs. I wonder if we repair faster if we're out of town or not. Does require resources. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Let's go to a town. Let's do it. No, there's an undiscovered town up here, so maybe we should go up there, but then again... Oh, I'm a two-star ship. I see. This might be a pirate town? I'm not sure. Let's move up and find out. And I wonder how getting attacked at a town works. Discovered Torbo Ridge. Capture the target by remaining in the circle. Oh, we gotta capture it. Let's do it. Okay. So we can go and capture towns. I wonder if that alerts enemy factions. Is the circle getting... Okay, yeah. I thought it was getting smaller, but it was just an illusion. Yeah, I'm probably sure that... Uh-oh, oh, 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 oh! I'm sitting in the circle. This this town is mine. Oh, since I'm in combat, I can't I can't conquer it. Altair. All right, we'll kill Altair. We definitely have the advantage here. I just got to stay... Uh-oh, uh-oh, the wind. The wind is messing with me. There we go. All right. So we just got to keep our cannons fixated on this guy. Should be able to handle it. Let's try to get in front of him so that he can't shoot at us. Oh, we got it. We got it, guys. Shackles and tar. Let's start the repair. We got some loot. We, really, we didn't get much lumber. Lumber seems to be very difficult. I think that's something that we're going to have to buy out of town. Oh, yep. That's, that's necessary. Let's go do it. Oh, and you do have to be not sailing. You can't be moving, trying to repair. So let's go. Oh, man. Are you freaking serious? Am I, are we not taking this town? We are probably not going to take this town. He's protecting this town? All right, fine. We'll kill him. We'll take the town. Because this is my town. This is my port. Come on. Foul wind you, Skyland. <laughs> this is pretty silly. I think this game would be a lot more fun with multiplayer, though. And I wonder what kind of ships we got. This is still a very low-level area, so I have no idea what kind of ships we could potentially have. Mainly, if you if you were, like, say, a pirate, you would want a smaller ship to be faster. And I can see definitely how being faster would be a huge advantage. But if you are part of a team or a squad, you might want a bigger ship for larger cargo. Anyways, we got another sail embroidery. Let's freaking capture it. Now, do I have to go and sit in it for the same... Okay. 
Um, you know, I'm actually going to turn around. I'm going to turn around here just in case somebody else comes, decides to uh, defend it. I don't want to die. Okay, so let's check out our inventory. What do we got? We got another sail embroidery. This one is, can't see exactly what it is. We got a crew. It doesn't seem like we got to feed them, do we? Oh, there we go. Captured it. And what can we buy here? Different items. Shipment of wood. We need we need some wood. Uh, requires 870 gold. I don't have that much. I shipment of stone. Lighthouse. Oh, construction. I can can we actually make stuff? We can actually build lighthouses and stuff. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's actually freaking awesome. Especially you know considering like an online component to the game. Oh man, the pirates. I think are doing work over there. Maybe I should help them. Um, I want some of this wood. Can I purchase some of the wood? Um, oh, we got some quests. Actually, but I, I, oh, and we could just straight up buy ships, too. Interesting. We don't have much gold, though, so we can't really do that. Um, let's see. I really want some wood, though. Like, well, I mean, I got, okay, I, I got some from that, but, um, anyways, we got Capture Rowie. Go to this one, Captain the Governor. Okay, so there is a little bit of, um, some flavor text. Okay. Anyways, we got a bounty. We got to capture this guy. Let's accept it. Let's do it. Now, how do quests work? Doing quests and trading with towns lets them grow in size. Okay, so as we do quests, as we trade with this town, it'll get bigger and better, and we'll get better stuff from it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. All right. So how do we do the quests? Where do I see my quests? Is this, uh, it would it be on the map? Or do I have to actually read the, the text and uh, go from there? Let's see. Um, how do I access my, my quests? Oh, wait, is that something about rumors? We got rumors? Uh, let's see. Check the town's quest. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So how do we do, um, oh, we got some stuff right here. Let's get this. Some loots. Yeah. Easy loots. Have we leveled up to get, oh, we can. We did level up to get some talents. Reinforced hull. Ship's hull increases the amount of damage the ship will be able to take before sinking. That's probably important. That's the first thing we're going to level up. Hands down. We want to stay afloat. Quite important day. But still, where do we go for... Is it L for log? P? I? I for inventory. We have some customization, so we can actually customize our ship. That's pretty cool. We got a couple of different other customizations. Alright. Oh, do we have less vision when it gets darker out? Is there a day-night cycle? Seems like it's getting darker. How the crap do we... Uh, let's go to menu. And what do we got? We don't have any options for key bindings. I just accepted that quest, but I totally have no idea where to go. Let's try this again. I'll get a load of this one, Captain. The governor of Torbridge seems to feel threatened by the proximity of the Elt, whatever Eltonham, that has been put out a hefty bounty for any captain daring enough to sack it. This one might be worthwhile, but I'll just accept it. Maximize by choosing quests or cargo that go to the same destination. Deliver cargo to Glutenberg, whatever. All right, right here. Can I click this or is this whatever? We got some pirates over here. Where Where is this anyways? Can I go to my map and see this quest? Oh, I can. Okay. So I need to go up here and deliver this. Easy. I also think I got to go down here for a quest. But anyways, I should probably just... Yeah, let's, let's get this quest too. Run and gun. Drive by questing. Alright, so let's go up here. I think there's a pirate ship. Let's kill this. Complete the quest. Acquire loots. Oh, it's a watchtower. Okay. So this is how they work. Hooray! Now we can conquer it, conquer it. And there we go. We completed our quest. Hey, achievement unlocked, guys. We delivered it, but we're also going to capture this place. Reputation lowers prices and improves with the number and the quality of the rumors in town. That's really good. So we need to have a reputation. Fantastic. I think I'll be like the new Blackbeard, yeah? Oh, yeah, but still, um, where, where are my other quests? I got this one at Desfer. I got to go to S circle here. 
Yay! We got any more quests? Can we just accept all the quests? Can we just do this? Oh, I got a fairy. Oh, I don't think we can actually. Oh, we do have. We are out of cargo space. So, ferry passengers to Destifer. Okay, we got to go there. And deliver cargo to Tor. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go back around where we were. Fair sailing. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll go back around this bend and then we'll go back to Destifer. Easy does it, guys. Easy does it. Another day at the beach. Says oceans. Things. On the ship. Oh, uh, what is this? The pirates have been driven out. Oh, so we drove out the, the pirates from this entire area. That's pretty good. That's fantastic. That's good to know. They were a thorn in my side for too long. Okay, so we are going to ferry these guys here. Boom! Bada bing. Okay, now we're going to go to Desfer. And continue on. How much loot do we have? We are probably getting a lot. Yeah, significantly more. We almost have enough to get a, uh, a different ship. Yeah, but uh, so far, I mean, this is pretty so It's a solid experience. It definitely is solid. I think it's far more, like, focused on multiplayer, though. So if you can pick this up with a friend, absolutely. Absolutely a purchase. Uh, however, we're probably going to have to see how big the population is in this game. But otherwise, I mean, it seems really fun. Especially especially if you are, like, a historical enthusiast or something. I mean, somebody who likes, you know, sailing pirates, ships like that. Just the aesthetic, you know? Nothing high fantasy, nothing magical. Just, you know, good old-fashioned pirates and sailing and cannons. Well, hey guys, uh, trivia, fun fact. They're not called cannons when they go on the ship. They're called guns. As soon as they hit the ship, they're called... Yeah, okay, whatever, I'm a nerd. Whatever. You guys get out of here, you're nerds too. I do like how the game looks. It's uh, fine. I think it would be cool to have some camera customization if I could zoom out, zoom in. I can't do this. But anyways, I mean, I'm having fun. I think this is a good first impression. I would like to play it online, though. I think that's probably where it's really meant to be. But so far, it seems pretty cool. Let's try to buy a boat real quick here. Lots of items we can purchase. Um, you can change... Oh, you can buy cap. You can buy captains. There's a whole lot of customization. A whole lot of statistics. I think this, this, this game actually has uh, some pretty good depth. Seems pretty fun. So how much is it for a new ship? Uh, a sloop of war. It's, it has two cargo, three cargo. I'm imagining the cargo is basically how many like quests you can run at a time. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool, guys. All right, so... Thanks for watching. I'm Scott and Show with Attack Gaming. Um, this was this was fun, you know. It, it definitely check the link in the description below if you want to go check out the game. And I think I think it's a good game. It's de guys, it is definitely meant for multiplayer. But if you want this kind of gameplay, but with a more like story driven experience, that's still it's uh I guess you could say it would be rogue. It's roguelike, like. Then you want to check out Sunless Sea. That's also a very good game. But this is this is kind of like a multiplayer uh, esque styling of that game. So thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you again later. Welcome back, Attack. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 free-to-play MMOs for this year, for 2015. And I think across all the genres for free-to-plays, we've seen so much innovation in MOBAs, in MMOs, in, like, card games. We've seen so many new things this past year. And hopefully, maybe, probably so, 2015 is going to be just as exciting.